Y'all, my husband looked at me with a straight face in this, the year of our Lord, 2023, and he said he wanted a, quote, really nice Salisbury steak. So what I heard was, add whatever I can find in the pantry. So we got breadcrumbs, an egg, Worcestershire, put some yellow mustard in because I'm trash and don't have Dijon, and a pack of Lipton onion soup mix. Y'all, where would we be in this world without Lipton onion soup mix? Probably just laid out in a gutter somewhere. I don't know why I tried using a spoon at first. We all know I'm going to end up raw dogging it. I put some olive oil in my favorite pan and got that nice and hot and seared these off on both sides. All right, then I pulled those off and put them on a plate and I went to see what I had to make gravy with. I got some onions, I got some shallots. Sis, I'm tired. We're just gonna throw some butter and flour in this bitch and call it done. Like, we're gonna season it all to hell anyway. Now, since this is a beef dish, I wanted a darker roux, so I let that go for a little while. And then I used beef stock to finish making my gravy. And I use salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and Tony's to season it with. And, you know, just season all over the top of your whisk. Why not? Now throw them patties back in, and you're going to let them simmer just until they're done. It took mine about 15 minutes, not long. I flipped them halfway through, and then I left them uncovered the last five minutes. Taste your gravy, make sure it's good. Serve this with rice, and y'all, this is the delicacy of any fourth grade school cafeteria in the 90s. Where's Adam Sandler singing about navy beans?